Hi, welcome back to the Wild Blue Wanderers channel. I'm Ashley. And I'm Scott. And we're gonna do something a little bit different this week. We're actually on our way over to the airport and we're gonna fly back to Tennessee and attend our nephew Peyton's graduation from high school tomorrow. And then we're gonna spend a little time and go to our property in Tennessee and check out some of the excavation work that we had done and just kinda of check that out for a day or two. So stick around. gauntlet of trailer hitches. Airport. Made it to the airport waiting for our first first plane to Salt Lake. Look what we got. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we made it to White House, Tennessee uh, Friday night, actually, and it's Sunday morning now. So yesterday we had the opportunity to go have brunch with our niece and nephew, Eva and PJ. And then we got to go to PJ's big event last night and watch him graduate from high school. Good job, PJ. Good job, buddy. Peyton, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just went to the graduation and now we're celebrating, just us two, with some dreams and Mexican food in White House, Tennessee. And so far, so good. So far, so good. We got our food. Look at that. Looks good. So one of the things I started doing when I was traveling for work is I would always rent with National Rental Car because they have their Emerald Isle. Not that I'm sponsoring them, but the cool thing with that is you can walk in, you can pick out whatever kind of car you want. So I'd always try to get something different. Before we bought Ashley's F-150, I'd try F-150 pickups out, I'd try Chevy pickups, all different things. So this time we decided to try something different, which is an e-Jeep or whatever they call it. So we decided we would plug it in and charge it up and see what advantages the hybrid Jeep has. So it costs us about $6 to charge it up and that's gonna give us 21 miles of straight electric driving. So the fuel mileage maybe doesn't add up, but it's got a lot of pep and we're gonna give it a try. We're in the Portland city limits. We like this Portland a lot better. A lot nicer. Much nicer. And prettier, a little quieter. Man, I always had stories about the city life and the crazy nights. I figure I should probably give it a try. Baby, check it out. See what it's all about. 
But the traffic was fast and the money was slow. We just stopped for a pretty good lunch. Um, it was a little diner. Nice little side of the road diner. Yeah. Uh, we like to travel back roads, and so uh, I looked to see what was coming up and looked like this had some pretty good reviews. I didn't look too far into it. Uh, it didn't, didn't look like it sucked, so we decided to give it a try. Had a little difficulty finding it just because there's no sign. Yep. <laughs> so good thing we had, we had Google Maps. Um, but yeah, a little hole in the wall Nice place. little hole in the wall, very good food, so yeah. enjoyed it much. Yep. So. That's what we do. The sky is pretty. Oh, look at Jeep. <laughs> I just, we've been driving along and every once in a while, or quite a few times, we've seen these uh, just people with either a trailer flatbed trailer or they have um, tables set up tables. on the side of the road with their stuff to sell. Yeah. And a lot of it's yard sale type stuff, not just like food stands. It's clothing and random miscellaneous stuff that they have for sale sitting on the side of the road. Yeah. So I guess instead of having yard sales, they have a uh, highway jeep. They have highway sales. So. Uh, it's just kind of interesting, the different things you see taking the back roads. This is why we like them instead of freeways, but oh, so, here's another one. Yeah. So is that common in the south or the east or just in Tennessee or just this area? You don't know. Leave a comment. Oh look, here's another one. I'm going to turn you around. Ah. And yeah, motorcycle helps us get that one. It is Sunday today, so I wonder if it's just, is it just Sunday? Is it the weekend? Um, let us know. I, I, this is not something that we normally see. You have to say it's a beautiful day here in Tennessee. It's a little cloudy, but it's nice. 79, 80 degrees outside. I do. Yeah, it's really pretty. Trees all have their new leaves, and it's a pretty day. Another Jeep. Lots of Jeeps. We're here at our property in Tennessee. We made it in and we got some new gravel down on the driveway. Probably gonna need a little bit more, but we got a start to it. a little different with leaves on the trees. Yep. We got a power pole right here on the property. We just got to tap into it and bring it over. We got a septic tank clean out right here. So we'll eventually bring a line in to where the motor home will sit. And there's an old well back there we might get fixed or we've got city, city water that we can run up here. So we'll eventually have it set up. Maybe put a little shed or casita type thing or something up here also. So there's the Jeep and the driveway. We walked up. Bear with me. So there's a lot of junk, and a lot of trash, but this is a really nice flat spot for a motorhome pad and a garage. It's a lot different with all the leaves, but 
There's, which is makes for a nice privacy. Got to compact the humps. We got our Jeep. Bye. It's an eighth grade graduation parade. High school, here they come. Well, we just had the privilege of watching the middle school in Rocky Top, Tennessee. Uh, looks like the eighth graders, I'm guessing. Eighth graders said, high school, here we come. So, gotta love small towns. They stopped all kinds of traffic to have a little parade Police for- Police escorted parade. Yeah, it was, we're hearing, we, we heard these sirens and we're like, what's going on? Yep, it was, you know, kids, sticking out of the sunroofs and on the back of pickups and yeah it was pretty cool so gotta love the small town gotta love the small town we're headed to rocky top tennessee for me to get my driver's license Good old rocky top rocky top tennessee rocky top tennessee otherwise known as oak ridge oh yeah we're going through rocky top to get to Oak Ridge, Tennessee, like as in the Oak Ridge Boys. Uh, so I can get my driver's license and officially become a Tennessee citizen or a Tennessean. 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 Tennessee. 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 So that's where we're going. And then we fly back to Oregon tonight. So. Looking forward to a long day, but it'll be a good day. So I went on to the website called, uh, not website, I went on to my app called the uh, Atlas Obscura. And we were driving through Tennessee and there was a place called the Mount Gilead Cemetery. And uh, there are some tent graves that were from like 150 years old. So we thought we'd check it out. Come check it out. We've got some newer graves. But look at these. Pretty neat old gravestones. Looks like they had quite a few young deaths here mm -hmm. infants 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 yeah a lot of 20 somethings so we read that the um the graves were um mostly because of the aesthetics i guess is what they it was just the thing to do at that time i guess a lot of the dates we're seeing is around 1855 1874 yeah mid to late 1800s so yeah kind of neat stop thanks atlas obscura
Stanley Cup playoffs tonight. Oilers won. So our plane is finally here and we are going to update you tomorrow because we are tired and there's a fan of the Stanley Cup playoffs, so. Well, we made it home from our weekend trip to Tennessee. We got home last night or this morning at about 2.33 in the morning yeah. from our flights. We had a great time at the graduation and being able to visit with Eva and PJ and watch PJ's graduation. Oh, that was fun. Yep. Pretty proud moment for yeah. us, you know, aunt and uncle. That was good. And then we, as you saw, we went over to our property and checked on the excavation work or the gravel and driveway mm -hmm. work that we had done. We've got a little bit more work still to do there, but I think we'll be able to get the motorhome up in there here in a few weeks when we go back there. Better than it was, that's for sure. Yes, still got work to do, um, but that'll come. Yep, and as you saw, we rented a hybrid Jeep and so Scott can talk a little bit about that. How, what, you, what did you think about that? Yeah, I liked it. It had a lot of power for what it was. Um, I don't know that the price point really makes... Makes up for makes, yeah, makes up the for benefits? The, the benefits, right. It did have a lot of power. It had more power than our V6 um, regular JK. This is a JL. Um, I wasn't real happy with the interior as well. I think our JK actually had more space on the dashboard and more little pockets to like tuck our phones in and different things. That one felt like it didn't have as much. Yeah, I couldn't hardly find a place to put a rag to clean our glasses. Like it was like, where do you put things? It was right. terrible. Um, but as for, like I said, it got, I think we averaged about 22 miles to a gallon with it. And it's all, it was a stock Sahara. So we averaged about 22 miles a gallon with the hybrid mode. Um, which we get about yeah, 18 with our Rubicon now. So it did get better mileage. Again, whether it was worth the extra upcharge for a hybrid, not sure. Um, kind of neat that it will go in all electric mode if you wanted to be silent going through the woods or driving back roads or something, but it'll only do that for about 22 miles or 24 miles, give or take and it cost us about $6 in electricity to be able to do 22 miles, so. And like, how many hours? Like three hours or four, or was it? It took two and a half hours to fully charge. Um, and yeah, it took two and a half hours to fully charge, and that was cost like $5.99, so $6, and it was good for 21 miles. So, um, I guess if you're in California where gas is $6 a gallon, then it might be something feasible, but where we were, where gas is under $3 a gallon, it doesn't really pencil out for us. But it did have a lot of power, it was kind of neat. Um, I could see it, its advantages. Um, you can park in the green e-parking spots if you want, so <laughs> there's always that. It was fun to rent. But yeah, I mean, it was just... a fun different rig to try yeah. out. So can't say anything really bad about it, but I can't say that that's gonna be on our list for a next vehicle. Um, it is nice that it is flat towable still. Um, but other than that, that's what we thought of it. Yeah, we made our way to the airport um, Monday evening. So our flight left at like 7.30 from Nashville. So we had plenty of time to do stuff during the day. Um, Ashley joined me at being oh a my. official Tennessee resident. That's what we did on Monday morning. Yes, and we did uh, license the last one of our vehicles. My old, or my dad's old Plymouth Duster is now licensed with historical plates in Tennessee. Um, so we got that done on Monday morning before we did a little bit of sightseeing and headed to the airport. Yeah. So, And we had pretty late night flights and we had a little bit of a delay in Salt Lake City for our last flight back to Medford, which is Southern Oregon. And then um, right before we were getting on the plane, I was looking at the, the flight crew and I was like, hey, I recognize somebody. And I went over, and sure enough, one of our really good friends was one of our pilots. So gave him a quick hug, and then, of course, he had to get on the plane and, you know, actually do his work. But that was nice when we got to Medford. We got, yeah. I took a picture of him in the cockpit, and... Uh... <laughs> it, was good. it was good to see him and actually have him be our pilot for once. Yeah, <laughs> I've known been... Him for many years. I told Scott, I've been waiting my whole time, my whole life, to have Donnie as my pilot. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Donnie, for getting us there safely and pretty smoothly. Yeah, we bounced in a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs>
So anyway, we are back in Oregon at Merrill, and we're going to finish up a few of the small motorhome projects. They're so just about done with that. We've got a couple of other trips planned coming up soon, and then we're going to be getting everything buttoned up, moved out of here, and still plan to be fully on the road by September, yeah. if not before. Yeah, so lots, lots going on, lots to do. We're going to have some more uh, videos of some upgrades and some projects that Scott's been working on, I've been working on, um, and then and then we'll have some travel videos mixed in there too, so we won't bore you too much or teach you too much. So, so if you enjoyed the video and our weekend, give us a thumbs up. Hope that you will uh, subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Let us know what you think, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.